Police arrest one man for an early morning fire that destroyed a town home in Cobb County. Officials say it all began as an attempted suicide call after a family member called concerned about a resident inside. Yeah, but when officers arrived at the townhouse, they found it on fire. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes has followed this story all day and joins us now live with the details. Deidre? Now, the suspect's home was gutted by a fire. Two neighboring homes suffered significant damage. No word on a possible motive, but uh, that suspect, we're told, committed arson. Police say he deliberately set his house on fire, and he is facing arson charges tonight. I heard a loud bang and saw a fire in the sky. Neighbors jolted out of bed by an explosion. The flames were kind of rocketing up, probably you know, 30 or 40 feet in the sky, in the in the air. Davin McCoy and others watched helpless as this townhouse went up in flames. They said that um, that the lady had made it out, and uh, we weren't sure about the husband. It didn't take long for investigators to determine the fire at the residence in the Indians Hill neighborhood was deliberately set. By mid-morning, they denounced the arrest of 31-year-old Matthew Olson for arson. Authorities say he lives at the home here on Audubon Drive, where the fire started. First unit on the scene found heavy fire blowing out the garage doors uh, and extending into the second floor. Cobb County Fire Lieutenant Dan Dupree tells Fox 5 fire crews initially responded to a 911 call from family members. One of them, Olson's estranged wife, concerned he was going to commit suicide. The unit that was responding from Station 21 uh, noticed a glow in the sky and reading the comments on the computer uh, upgrade the alarm to a to a fire, a residential fire. Residents in two neighboring buildings woke to a nightmare as the fast moving blaze spread to their homes. They all made it out safely. But Olson remained unaccounted for. After an initial search of his residence, crews determined no one was inside. Police caught up with him just hours after the blaze started, arresting him along Johnson Ferry Road near Laurel Roswell Road following a car chase. Neighbors say Olson lived here with his wife, moved in less than a year ago, and kept to themselves. There was no indication the couple was having problems. Well, the good news, no one hurt in this blaze. Uh, victims returned here to salvage what they could today before contractors began boarding up these damaged residences. We are told that uh, while the initial charge is arson, Olson may face additional charges as well. And that's the latest here in Cobb County. I'm Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, Deidre, thanks.